So by popular request, doing a quick video on this 1931 Model A Ford electrification rebuild project. So in here we have the battery box with four Kia modules by SK Innovation, Orion 2 BMS. In the cab we have control relays, boxes that we've replaced from the scabby wiring that was there before to what's here now control box with everything properly labeled. Under the hood we have this Soliton 1 controller which actually has some bad IGBTs so we'll be doing a separate video on us replacing that later. It looks like at the moment everything is working all of the controller dials up and works properly but there's no output from it so suggesting that when this thing originally failed the problem was most likely related to that. Just another look of the Inside here, we've added a little heater there for the customer, added a key switch instead of a hidden switch, so there's a little easier way to turn the whole thing on and off. And another view of the main contactor assembly here with the prescaler for the meter. So look underneath at all of the high voltage controls and wiring. Here we've mounted the Elcon charger, up tucked nice out of the way, silicone fire rated coverings for all of the high voltage lines. Added a blower fan here to cool the net gain warp 11 motor, all DC. Mandatory Awuga horn for this generation of vehicle. The penetration through the floor pan where the DC-DC is located. And then tying everything all up nice and neatly following along. And here's a quick look at the underside of the motor where we've added the banding for the force air controller and everything is liquid cooled now versus passively air cooled. And finally in the back of the vehicle here we have our J1772 charge port. It's nice and tucked out of the way. And we've added this little teardrop style reverse light as it didn't have anything previously when we got it come into us. So that's about it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions please feel free to put them in the comments and we'll have further videos on the actual operation of the truck once it's done. Thanks.